In the name of the supreme power, the almighty Allah, worthy president, distinguished guests, and my dear audience, Assalamu alaikum. I am Rida Nisar Chandio, representing IBA Public School, Larkana. And today, the topic I would like to share my thoughts on. It's more than a topic. It's actually a very delicate point to be understood. A thought to be provoked. In this stream of words, my topic flows as it is the cause, not the death that makes a martyr. Mr. President, the title of martyrdom is only in the faith of those who sacrifices their life for supreme cause that makes them immortal. When I peep into the pages of history, the example of Hazrat Imam Hussain is at the top. He is the greatest martyr, Sayyid e Shahda, who confronted power with apparent powerlessness, who defied conservationisms with sufferings and Yazid's curse with his own blood, and became a symbol of truth, justice, and eternity. Though Hazrat Imam Hussain faced painful tortures, swords, scratches, and pools of blood, he did not surrender. Mr. President, why did he not kneel down to his enemies? Because he knew that this cause will give a new life to Islam. Because he undoubtedly knew that it is the cause, not the death that makes a martyr. Dear audience, we know every day many people die in homes, on roads, in deserts, in mountains, along highways and byways. But the one who died for the sake of Allah, for the sake of their country, values, rights and principles, is not that but a martyr. Who can deny the martyrs of Palestine? Their countless losses of life do make me sad. But when I think of the cause of their resilience, I become satisfied because their deaths are not death but martyrdoms. Those fearless warriors of Palestine who have been standing like a rock against the massive force of Israel will continue their fight until the last blood drops because they know it is the cause, not the death that makes a martyr. Dear audience, let's take the example of our national heroes, Captain Muhammad Sarwar, Major Aziz Bhatti, Pilot Officer Rashid Minas, and many others who fought for their country, who decided to rise and fight against the force of aggression and oppression, only to win the freedom and emancipation for the down certain masses. Mr. President, death did came to them, but it failed. It failed to stop them from being immortal. It failed to stop them from being deathless. Yes, sir. Death indeed came to them, but what mattered the most is that unwavering and unflinching faith which they showed in the most unfavorable time. Our soldiers were brutally handled. They were tortured. They were captivated. They were killed, but they never gave up. They never gave up because they had sublime cause. And today, it is because of such heroes that we have an independent country. The show is going on, Mr. President, and the show must go on. Whether it be the past with those 313 Mujahideen of Badr or May 72 purified souls of Karbala is standing resolutely against the massive force of devil. Told me for the last breath, the cause is our prime. The cause is our plus. Dear fellow men, Let's compare the ones who take life and the ones who save life. Our Pakistan has been the victim of many suicidal attacks and bomb blasts. I still remember those monsters who killed many innocent souls in our public school. The world versus the one who attacked mosques, public schools and school. On the other hand, the world celebrates the one who saved life and entitled them as martyrs. Mr. President, we can never call those monster martyr because their cause was horrible, because their cause was ferocious. Dear fellow men, that indeed is a truth. That indeed shall come. But that with the vision has a cause and radiance, and that same cause makes the martyr the top position a human can attain. A martyr has no worldly interest. His actions 
are divine. Their trial Allah says in Quran, they are alive. They are alive at the highest position, hai man can be. Such is the life of a martyr. Therefore, I every moment desire. May Allah choose me as a martyr. May Allah choose me as a martyr. Thank you so much.